The mother had to install a clandestine camera since her daughter wouldn't talk to her father, in the restroom, her hands were shaking, so she braced before clicking play, the mother originally dismissed her daughter's month-long aversion to her father as snarky behavior, her difficult circumstances forced her to confront the tape that would reveal the truth, the heartbreaking scenes drove her out of the restroom, leaving her wondering how this could have happened without her knowing, everyone. In her life could blame her for letting things worsen, she recklessly followed her love for him despite her mother and others warning her of his past actions, the temptation of the forbidden impairs her judgment, putting her in this scenario, Jessica Noel felt she had endured enough due to her own choices and fate, she concluded that life was never meant to be so hard, as she ran into her daughter's room that fateful night, she realized the gravity of her mistake, her fast heartbeat interrupted. The peaceful nightly routine she had just done with her daughter as she walked down the dimly lit corridor after seeing the nanny cam image, she was impelled to act, prioritizing her desire to see her daughter over any obstacle, after everything with Clint, Jessica wondered why this was happening to her, she called out reassurances, her heart was broken many times during their stormy relationship. Jessica fell for Clint's imperfect yet alluring charm, despite her family's warnings even though, Jessica had been warned multiple times, she was hesitant to cut ties with Clint, despite the fact that they had always been the ones to repair the damage following each of Clint's emotional outbursts, Clint was her first love, and the charming perseverance he displayed during their relationship inspired her to imagine a future that appeared to be loving and solid, despite this, Jessica took the decision to break out from the cycle, which was powered by her newly discovered strength, this was an unexpected turn of events. She believed that by ending her connection with Clint, she would be able to free herself from the emotional roller coaster, despite the fact that she continued to be afraid of his tendency for vengeance, Jessica made the decision to choose her own well-being over the appeal of a troubled past, and she began the process of rebuilding her life on her own, discovering contentment in the independence she had recently acquired. However, Clint was not finished with her, which is something that she ought to have imagined, being true to his nature, he came back, eager to rekindle their love for one another, Jessica hesitated, seduced by the pull of her first love and Clint's promises of change, despite the fact that she was aware of the warnings that continuously rang in her head, just recently becoming a mother added an additional layer of difficulty to Jessica's life, as she sought stability for her newborn child, Jessica gave in once more, giving in to the temptation of Clint's proposal, and married him, she was tempted by the possibility of having a family that was harmonious, at first, life appeared to be absolutely perfect, with Kenzie's presence bringing happiness and obscuring any previous uncertainties, there was a hesitant acceptance of the newly discovered harmony among Jessica's friends and family, with the expectation that it would indicate a genuine change in Clint. Both Jessica and Kenzie were treated with respect and affection by Clint for a period of four years which helped to erase the scars that their troubled past had left behind, nevertheless, fractures started to appear in their family, which was otherwise picture perfect, Jessica was first dismissive of Kenzie's unwillingness to accept her father's touch since she believed it to be nothing more than a sign of sassiness, nevertheless, as the incidences became more regular, Jessica was unable to ignore the indicators that something profoundly wrong was occurring, which awoke the concerns of a mother, who expressed alarm. Despite the fact that she was unaware of the shocking facts that were waiting for her, she took the decision to investigate anything, throughout his life, Clint had a tendency toward vengeance, and in order to settle his scores, he would engage in acts of vandalism and arson when he came back into Jessica's life and found out that she was pregnant, she could feel the pain in his demeanor, it seemed as if he believed he had the right to control her mind, body, and soul, it was impossible for Jessica to overlook Clint's vengeful character, despite the fact that their relationship had recently become more harmonious, Jessica was prompted to re-evaluate the possibility of Clint's involvement after she witnessed her daughter's behavior, which brought up memories of the earlier sins that Clint had committed, however, she refrained from making hasty judgments and instead considered the potential that the problem might be with her daughter rather than with her husband before making a Decision, while Jessica was analyzing their interactions, she noticed that Clint and Kenzie were secretly looking at each other, which gave the impression that they were keeping something from each other, Jessica's suspicions about Clint's character continued to grow with each passing instant, which compelled her to confront the rising concerns about his personality, she started keeping a careful eye on him, 
keeping a watchful eye out for any indications that her daughter was in danger, because of these worries, she decided to install a nanny cam in Kenzie's bedroom, and she hid it among her toys. Jessica proceeded on a strategy to learn the truth about the situation, despite the fact that she was concerned about what the camera might reveal, she connected the stream to her phone. Jessica braced herself for the forthcoming revelations with a mixture of fear and determination. Despite the fact that she was uncertain of the fact that the situation that was about to unfold would be complicated, she earnestly prayed and hoped that her suspicions were not based on any legitimate grounds. She was aware that she would not be able to forgive herself for putting her beloved daughter in danger without her knowledge if her worst fears were ultimately realized, even though she had feelings for Clint, she was aware that she would be solely responsible for his actions in the event that he was involved in something that was beyond comprehension, as Clint joined her in bed after saying goodnight to Kenzie. She felt a sensation of loathing sweep over her that was overwhelming, Jessica was. Unable to disengage herself from the unsettling thoughts that were rushing through her head, what was it that Clint had done to make Kenzie feel such apprehension, it was the first time she had ever witnessed her daughter acting in such a manner, which indicated a huge change in the dynamics of their relationship. After Clint leaned over to give her a goodnight kiss, Jessica was unable to contain her pain during that moment. Despite her desire to approach him about her suspicions, she pretended. To be exhausted and refused to engage in conversation, she hoped she could confront him about something, she began to question all she believed she knew about Clint as a result of the uncertainty that was eating away at her, when Jessica was waiting anxiously for an opportunity to study the film on her phone, she was hoping to find answers to the questions that she had about her daughter's disturbing conduct. Time seemed to drag on forever, the fact that she did not receive any notifications was a peculiar occurrence, which raised questions about the camera's capabilities, Jessica was unable to shake the feeling that something was wrong, despite the fact that her anxiety was growing, Jessica was unable to shake the feeling that something was wrong, despite the fact that she had put up the nanny cam in accordance with the instructions. Her mounting uneasiness was fueled by the prospect that Clint had found the camera and disabled it, she contemplated the possibility that this might have happened. On the other hand, when she examined the camera that was located in Kenzie's room, she discovered that it was in excellent working order, as Jessica was perplexed by the fact that it did not capture anything, she started to wonder if Clint was keeping an eye on her, on the other hand, there was nothing truly notable that took place on the first night, as is customary, Jessica put her daughter to bed. Excitedly anticipating Clint's arrival, however, Clint only made a brief visit to Kenzie's door. To wish her a good night before departing, Jessica's concerns continued to remain in the background, but she was aware that she needed to be patient, despite the fact that it was difficult for her to do so given that the safety of her daughter was at issue. Despite the fact that Jessica wanted to discuss the matter with Kenzie in person, she refrained from doing so out of concern that doing so could make the situation more worse and give Clint the impression that his manipulation was successful. Waiting was the only option available to her and she exercised that option for a number of days continuously, the happening of key events did not take place until four days after the initial event, as time went on, tensions inside the Noel home continued to rise, with the difficult relationship between Kenzie and Clint being a particularly prominent example of this strain, when Clint approached Kenzie, she displayed symptoms of distress, including screaming on one occasion, it was clear that she was upset, in spite of the fact that Jessica was concerned about her daughter's behavior, she refrained from pressuring her for answers because she recognized the symptoms of dread that were similar to those that were on television, she couldn't help but bemoan the fact that she had chosen to disregard the advice of her family and friends, only to come to the realization that love had obscured her perception of the reality of the situation within a short period of time, Jessica would eventually come across a revelation that was even more frightening. While Kenzie was in the process of preparing dinner, she was completely interested in watching cartoons when Clint came in via the front door, Jessica's natural inclination led her to be stealthily observing the interaction that was taking place between the two, it was at that moment that she was able to overhear Clint stating, you can't tell mommy about this, okay, it's our little secret, while putting his finger to his lips and indicating to Kenzie that she should keep silent at the same time. As tears were flowing down Jessica's face, she felt her pulse thumping violently in her chest, she debated whether or not this was sufficient evidence to approach him, 
but she eventually came to the conclusion that it was nothing more than words that could be easily used to his benefit, she was in need of tangible evidence, while Jessica was once again observing them at the dining table. She realized that Kenzie had purposefully positioned herself in a distance from Clint, Kenzie was unyielding. In her refusal to consume the meal that he repeatedly offered to her, Jessica was having trouble keeping her breathing under control as a result of the obvious tension that existed between them, Jessica was compelled to take action due to a sensation that she had instinctively, Jessica questioned Kenzie, do you want to talk to mommy, you seem really afraid about something, honey, do you want to talk to mommy, Jessica was hoping that Kenzie would confide in her, is everything all right between them, two of you, Kenzie, it seemed as if Clint had communicated to Kenzie to be silent in some way, Kenzie looked directly at Clint and responded, No, mommy, everything's fine, I'm just not very hungry, can I go to my bedroom now, please, this was a source of disappointment for her, Jessica could see the fear in Kenzie's eyes every time she glanced at Clint, it was as if she was aware that if she spoke up, it could lead to something terrible happening to her, Jessica was secretly gathering all of them evidence and information she required against Clint. And Clint was unaware of her activities, almost immediately, she was aware that everything would come crashing down in front of him, Jessica's anxiousness reached a point where she could no longer contain it as the days went by, it was unbearable for her to witness her daughter living in terror, and the words that Clint had uttered to Kenzie continued to plague her during every waking moment. The pressure of the truth was pressing down on her, and it demanded that she take action despite this. She did not have the ideal physical evidence from the nanny cam, clearly, Clint was exercising extreme caution in each and every one of his actions, in her life, Jessica's goal was to constantly be one step ahead of him, however, as the weeks progressed, Jessica became aware of a substantial change in the dynamic that existed between Clint and her daughter, she made the observation that Kenzie continued to refuse Clint's attempts to contact her despite this fact, for example, she allowed him to place food on her plate during meals, demonstrating a higher level of civility toward him than she had previously shown, Jessica had a strong sense that something was wrong, and she was determined to find out the truth, she felt a large amount of cynicism concerning the situation, for some reason that was not explained, their behavior had become noticeably strange with time, after that, she was cleaning up the living room one evening when she received a notification from the nanny cam on her phone, the notification informed her that Clinton had gone to her bedroom without her knowledge, when Jessica clicked on the notification, she found herself holding her breath since she was unsure of what information would be revealed, she had a strategy under consideration, rather than addressing Clint right once, she decided to first make contact with the authorities in order to be certain that he would not flee justice, after collecting all of the evidence that may be used against Clint, he would be subject to a protracted court process. After some time, Jessica did click on the notification, but she immediately regretted her decision, it was not so much what she saw as it was what she heard, Clinton speaking to Kenzie in a hushed tone, encouraging her not to tell, mommy, what she saw and underlining the need of keeping it a secret, despite the fact that she was relieved to have everything recorded. Jessica's stomach began to churn with sensations of sickness upon hearing this, on the other hand, it raised more questions than it did answers for her, at first glance, it appeared as though Kenzie had been there during some disturbing event that involved Clint, Jessica could only think of one possibility, she might have been unfaithful, she realized that tiny Kenzie had witnessed something horrible, and she was shocked by the revelation, the recollection of the day when Clint had picked up Kenzie from school was something that Jessica could not shake, it was possible that she had seen it at that time, Jessica had a heart, Time finding the words to express her feelings since she was convinced that Clint was deceiving her and that Kenzie had seen the affair, not only was Clint maintaining a covert relationship with her daughter, but he was also betraying the love that they shared, Jessica was overcome with anxiety as she contemplated the next actions she should take. She believed that the only way to definitively prove that Clint had been unfaithful was to check his phone, for which she was in possession of the passcode, because she was so intent on finding out the truth, she intended to do so when he was sleeping, due to the fact that she had allowed Clint to return into their lives, Jessica experienced the sensation that her life had turned into a living nightmare altogether, in spite of the fact that she was aware that Clint typically fell asleep in a short amount of time, Jessica waited patiently for him to drift off to sleep, within a matter of minutes, she was able to stealthily get out of bed. 
collect his phone, and then sneak away, it was her birthday, and she took a deep breath before entering Clint's password while she was sitting on the toilet seat that was closest to her in the bathroom while Jessica was thinking back on the good moments she had spent with Clinton, she couldn't help but shed a tear as she reflected on the evidence that had been gathered against him, which had painted him as a villain. It was incomprehensible to her that someone she loved could act in such a way as to betray both. Herself and her kid, as Jessica quickly scanned through Clint's phone, she discovered no evidence of infidelity, the only things she discovered were familiar contacts and texts, and even his social media sites did not show anything that could be considered incriminating, she was perplexed and shook her head, which indicated that she was missing something important, she thought back to previous instances of Clint's dishonesty, the excruciating anguish it caused her, and his assurances that he would change, in spite of the fact that he appeared to have changed, it was clear that he had once again strayed from the path even though she was not quite confident that he was cheating on her, Jessica made up her mind that this would be the end of their relationship, in an effort to achieve her goal of gathering tangible evidence, she devised an additional strategy to catch him in the act. Because she was aware that Clint was a frequent customer at the neighborhood pub, she asked her best. Friend Mel to watch Kenzie while she was getting ready for a stakeout Melanie expressed concern for Jessica's well-being and questioned the decision that she had made, but Jessica remained unwavering in her stance, while she continued to feel affection for Clint and hoped that she was mistaken, she required evidence in the event that he denied her feelings. Jessica began on her mission after becoming aware of Clint's history of lying and deciding that she would not take any more chances, on the other hand. After spending more than an hour observing Clint at the bar, she came to the conclusion that he only engaged in social activities with his friends, such as drinking and playing games, in the middle of her disappointment, Jessica had a glimmer of relief, however, the mysterious conversation that he had with Kenzie remained unresolved, and she was left with the continued task of figuring out what they had been doing while she was away, her fears for Kenzie continued to be quite strong, which was exacerbated by the apparent change in her temperament that i observed over the course of the last three days jessica had neglected to perceive these changes since she was obsessed with her concerns surrounding clint's infidelity as a result of this concern she experienced feelings of inadequacy as a mother because she was overwhelmed by the fear of disappointing her cherished daughter in the present jessica hid in the bathroom with footage from the nanny cam while she researched the situation and looked for answers Despite the fact that she was failing her cherished daughter in a multitude of ways, she was resolute in her intention to put an end to this situation once and for all as one watched the television, one could see the father and daughter, Kenzie, engaging in an elegant eye dance of avoidance for each other. The unnerving scene that Jessica was watching on her phone caused her face to light up with a sense of underlying dread, and she felt more and more. Determined to put an end to this situation despite the fact that she was quivering with fear, she stood there still, a furrow appearing on her forehead, and her fingers becoming moist with sweat, the only thing that she was concerned with was getting to her kid as quickly as possible, she was unsure if she had dropped her phone by accident or whether she had held on to it securely as she sped away. With one of the cleanest records in recent memory, Clint had made a commitment to change his ways. Despite the fact that he was notorious for his difficult background and many run-ins with the law. As Jessica hurried down the corridor, her breath caught in her throat as she burst into Kenzie's room, however, she was surprised to discover that Clinton and Kenzie were engaged in an unexpected scenario, Jessica had caught a glimpse of Kenzie carefully performing handstands under her father's patient coaching while she was on her quest, the unexpected scene continued what Jessica had seen on her phone during her travels. Jessica was overcome with confusion as she saw this situation, which was diametrically opposed to the showdown that she had anticipated, she went on to explain the strange agreement that she and her father had made, a wager that if any of them touched the other without first successfully executing a handstand, then they would be forced to watch the other person's least favorite television show. Kenzie went on to explain the absurd arrangement, Kenzie persisted in her attempts, yearning to embrace her father, in order to avoid watching monster truck stunt presentations. Every night, she was determined to avoid watching these shows, following the first panic that Jessica had, she felt a sense of relief, 
and then she felt a sting of guilt for not understanding the situation sooner. Kenzie exposed her innermost feelings and articulated the inner turmoil she was experiencing as a result of being torn between the want to embrace her father and the fear of being subjected to the pain of television. As Jessica came to the realization that this was a peculiar yet harmless family practice, her anxiety was alleviated by the fact that the disclosure was completely innocent. As this knowledge began to sink in, Jessica embraced Kenzie closely, experiencing a mixture of a warm sense of comfort and a lingering sense of dread during the hold. Although this was the case, she couldn't help but feel a tinge of guilt for the misunderstandings that had obscured her view. Jessica stated that their history of mistrust had clouded her perception of their current relationship, she thought about her relationship with Clint and realized that mistrust had contributed. Despite the fact that the circumstance was completely different, she wondered if her past had made her presume the worst. Clint reassured Jessica about his four-year transformation, underlining his true change. He was aware of Jessica's inner turmoil. Jessica liked Clint's verbal skills, but she knew action spoke louder. Jessica tried to reconcile her tiredness with her want to trust in Clint's turnaround. Even though his acts were genuine, Jessica realized she needed to change too, she knew. That re-establishing trust required a leap of faith and a conscious decision to let go of their history. In succeeding weeks, Jessica sought professional help and had extensive chats with Clint. These chats helped her realize his years of contemplation that led to change. When the Noel family was mending and understanding, the handstand wager symbolized their special relationship, which brought laughter and closeness. Their previous scars were still there, but there was no leftover anguish. Poisoning their relationship above is today's story. If you like it, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. See you next time.